Welcome to Adam Home Cooking. Today we are preparing goat's light soup or goat's pepper soup. These are the ingredients for making the goat soup. I've got my goat meat here all cleaned up and washed nicely. I have my onion, three medium onions, one chopped. I've got my onga seasoning. I have my pepper here, chili pepper. I'm using four. If you want it very spicy, you can just use two or three. I have my garlic, my ginger, and this is my frozen garden egg. Garden egg and butter beans is used to thicken the soup. You can get garden egg from any Asian or Ghanaian African shop. So I'll start by adding my goat meat into my cooking pot. I add my goat meat into my cooking pot, all cleaned up. I've already chopped one of the onions, roughly chopped, so I'll add it to the pot. Add my Maggi seasoning, hunger. I'm using hunger shrimp. You can use any of your favorite seasoning. Maggi cube and of course I also have my tomato plum here you can also decide to use fresh tomato I have my tomato plum here sauce to taste we start by seasoning my beef my goat meat open it And remember, when you are using these seasonings like Maggi Cube and all that, they all contain salt. So you don't need to add too much salt to your food again. You make it tasty. Some people prefer to use only salt, but salt doesn't add any special taste to your food. So I'm just adding about a teaspoonful of salt to my meat. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up my this my ginger. You know some people when you are when you are cooking fresh meat, eat, whether it's chicken or beef or goat, they use so much garlic and ginger and it kills the taste of the food. You just have to hide it in. You don't use too much of them. If you use too much of them as soon as you start eating the food you can smell the ingredients and that will put people off. So I'm using only three, three medium of garlic and even the ginger, I just use half of this ginger. I'm going to blend this and one more of the, one of the onion. I'll just roughly chop it. So this is my chopped onion, garlic and ginger. I'll blend this. Now add this to my goat meat. You stir it well. You see, when you are steaming your meat, you don't add too much water from the start. This one, I just add a little water to my garlic, ginger, and onion, and I blend it, and that's all. So I'm going to leave this on for about 10 to 15 minutes to steam. I'll cover it. While steaming it, I'll just have my onion. This is my onion. I'll half it. And I'm going to still cook it together with my steamed meat, the goat meat, with the chili pepper. So by the time the meat is steamed, this one still will be cooked. Then I'll blend again and add to my to make my soup. So now I'm steaming now. Take about 10 to 15 minutes to steam. Depending on the tenderness of the meat and my goat meat is steamed up nicely so I'm just going to take the onions and my pepper which I'm going to blend together with my tomato plum and garden egg this is my blend vegetables I'm going to strain it onto my meat 
I strain it because I don't want the, the beaten pieces of the vegetables in my soup. This is what I do. If you prefer to add it, you can just add it straight away. By then, you're going to see all the chaff of your vegetables in your soup. You use your ladle to press it through the strainer. I'm going to blend the remaining of my vegetables now. And these are the remaining of my vegetables. My garden egg, tomato plum, raw onion. Use my ladle to press it through the strainer onto my meat. I'm going to use boiling water from my kettle. You can also use cold water, but it will take time to boil. So I decide to use boil water from my kettle to wash through the chaff to get more juice from the vegetables onto my soup. Just adding more water to make enough soup. Got enough juice for my vegetables. Now this is my soup, my goat's meat soup or goat pepper soup. Now I'll leave it to cook for about 15 to 20 minutes for my soup to be ready. I'm going to taste for salt now. I need to add a bit more salt, so I just add a tablespoonful of salt. Leave it uncovered and turn the fire down. Now my pepper soup, goat slice soup is ready now. My goat soup. Have it with fufu, even white rice, boiled rice, or you can just have this as a soup on its own. Maybe you don't feel like eating anything heavy, you can just have pepper soup. Here we are, our goat soup, goat light soup or goat pepper soup is ready. After it's cooked, I just drop in some few chili in case you want it a bit more spicy. Here's my green chili and my yellow chili. Enjoy goat pepper soup. <laughs>